What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So we have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 8 series, which is based on Oxygen OS 12.1 version C.35. There are not much of changes done, but still we'll go through all the changes what OnePlus have mentioned with the change logs. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 8 on which I have installed this latest build of Oxygen OS 12.1 and I'm using this device as my primary phone since yesterday. So I'll also tell you the first battery cycle or you can say battery backup which I got after upgrading to latest build. First let's talk about the software information. So here you can see Android version is 12 and the security patch is 5th August 2022. Version is C.35. And before starting the video guys, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel, but they do watch our videos. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So it's a stage rollout. It might take some time to receive it on your device. But if you guys haven't received the OTA update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Just download the file and place it in the internal storage after that you have to go to version tap the version seven times until you see you are a developer now done with that now you can go to up to date tap on these three dots and you'll see an option of local install just tap on local install and locate the file which you have downloaded this way you can perform a local upgrade and now talking about the benchmark results so here we have the benchmark testing done with geekbench application single core have scored 904 and multi core scores are 3022 with antutu benchmark application my oneplus 8 scored 6 lakh 64,626. But I did notice a bit of throttling issues on this latest build. Here you can see maximum CPU throttled only up to 79%. But as I always say, these numbers doesn't matter in day-to-day -day usage. Now talking about the change logs, so let me once again show you guys the changes. Here you can see the changes are layered to system and then communication. Though there are not much of changes mentioned, they have said overall stability improved. And yes guys, now Oxygen OS 12.1 is quite stable for OnePlus 8 series. And then they have improved the stability of mobile network connection. So nothing much here. But after installing this update, I did notice bit issues related to Wi-Fi calling. So I do have a screenshot and right now also you can see Wi-Fi calling is enabled, but I only get to see LTE. That doesn't happen on my other phones and they started to happen after this update. So here if you see Wi-Fi calling is enabled, but still I get to see VoLTE in the status bar. So personally for me on this build, Wi-Fi calling is not working. And when it comes to gaming, so initially when I installed this build, here you can see we do have the support of 90 FPS. I did take a screenshot, but after playing a TDM and then restarting the device, the FPS again went back to 60. So I don't know what's wrong with OnePlus. It's been long time and still we don't get the support of 90 FPS. Now let me also show you the battery backup and the overnight battery drain after this build. So here in this segment, battery segment, I personally feel slight improvements are done. So here you can see with ambient display turned on, the device only drained 5% of battery overnight. On previous builds, I have seen around 7 to 8% of overnight battery drain. But I think on this build, slight improvements are done related to battery backup or overnight battery drain. And here I have the first battery cycle wherein my device gave me 5 hours and 34 minutes of screen on time, which is something good on my OnePlus 8. So guys, there's nothing much to cover in this video, but still I'll try to do a complete review within a day or two. So let me know what all issues you guys have been facing on previous builds and on this build if you have already installed. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day